Nagel got a skull, so we're gonna skull can you, apparently. Yeah, what up? What up, internet? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going into the, the lasting record of the last. <laughs> yeah. I know you. Can you go, can you go to like, what is that hole called? Extra large a hole in the bottom of your head? <laughs> Yo, I found out what the sphenoid is. You know what the sphenoid is? Sphenoid is this butterfly shaped bone. Isn't that this that looks like here? I was trying to feel this. I was thinking, well, golly, golly. I know. Wait, your your straightforward cartilage. Are these cartilage pieces? I think they're all bones. They're all bones. Oh. So I think this is just like skinny ass plastic. But this thing, it's the sphenoid. Which I guess you can contact from the side. I guess that's where you can contact it. So this so wait, is... if you follow the ridge of your eye down, you need it. So mm. like here. Yeah, it's like this, the one behind your temple. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then, before you hit temple, right? Here's temple, grounded temple. So, eye, sphenoid, temple. So like here? Yeah, yeah. Just nice. <laughs> Do you think the skull has one bone once it's used? Like, once it's sutured, what do you think? I, I don't know. I mean, and then hopefully they talk about it like it's 20 some, you know? Yeah. So I was wondering about that. I definitely think of the skull as one bone. I don't yeah, think even though I know the jaw, even like just yeah, the jaw, right. like I know the jaw is a separate bone. But right. But I think of it. They didn't effectively use this magnetic technique for the whole skull, they only used it for the mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Good question. Why didn't they do that? I'm sure they thought about it. Why don't oh, no. you do it, humans? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is so cool. Oh. He didn't get all the bones in yet. <laughs> okay. He's not done yet. Yeah, this is the guy. Oh yeah, this is the like structure to put it together. Yeah, yeah. So like it shows you how to put it together. Did you get crowns? <laughs> or whatever those are called? Oh, silly. No, I had the cavity. That's yeah, awesome! Yeah. Congratulations! It was really awesome. He, so, like, um, you have this camera that he, like, he, he, like, looks around your mouth and he'll, like, take pictures. And afterwards, he, like, just showed me all the pictures. And he was like, oh, this is why these, these teeth are sensitive. And, like, you're brushing too hard. And he was like, here, look at these other patients' teeth. Like showed That's examples awesome. of like which like where it was like actually like worse than mine. Right. Like, well, I don't want to be like that, so I'm definitely not gonna brush as hard next time. Um, Brushing is weird. They're like, do it, but just... uh, yeah. Right. Like, oh, gently. this bone. I think is what goes on all this bone here. I think what goes like this Isn't is like this one group. in that area. Yeah, I don't know if that one goes in yet though. I was like working through the wool bones. Yeah, okay. he's following the instructions. Yeah. So cool. Wow. You definitely do learn stuff yeah, about how to take us yeah, together yeah. by playing it together. There's this bone in this, in this move that I don't know about. Yeah. I was just thinking something that would be really nice. This is one? You could, um, double tap a bone and have an LED in front of it and have it light up. So I was thinking, like, there's a story in here, this kind of sacral book about the sphenoid bone. And I was like, I know this one is one of them, but which one? And then now I know which one it is. It's this butterfly shaped bone. Oh, cool. In here. And I was like, oh, that'd be cool if you could like read a story, click on sphenoid, then have this light up. Yeah. And I was thinking, I was thinking, I think lighting it up is the right way to go. So I think you could project onto it too. But like, this guy's so buried inside of there. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, but it's like you want to be able to like rotate this thing around and stuff and just like hold it, you know? So I feel like, oh, if it like lit up internally, that would be nice. Unless like it was like, I guess, coming from Yeah, that's true. You could do it with a projection if you kept track of the rotation and like where it's basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Computer vision. Right, you could computer vision it. Or you could, or you could just do it with vision. Regular vision. Regular vision. <laughs> Regular vision is awesome. Yeah, so what is the question? 